chaos on edge of Europe, Armenia and Azerbaijan clash, could throw region into fire. Turkey has warned clashes on the border between Armenia and Azerbaijan could throw the region into fire, as tensions erupt over the breakaway region of Nagorno-Karabakh. A ceasefire was agreed in 1994, but both countries have continued to accuse each other over the frequent attacks. Turkey has now lashed out at Armenia over the attacks, with both President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and Defense Minister Hulusi Akar both sending huge warnings to the country. Ankara has traditionally backed Muslim-majority Azerbaijan, and in July, the defense industry chief said his sector was ready to support Baku. Today Mr. Akar said Ankara would support Baku with all its resources, adding, the biggest obstacle to peace and stability in the Caucasus is the hostile stance of Armenia and it must immediately turn back from this hostility that will send the region into fire. Turkish leader Mr. Erdogan held a phone call with Azeri President Ilham Aliyev on Sunday, and urged the Armenian people to stand against leaders who he said were dragging them to catastrophe, adding Ankara's solidarity with Baku would increasingly continue. In a lengthy Twitter post, he described Armenia as the biggest threat to peace and tranquility in the region. President Erdogan wrote, In the phone calls we did today shrewd and resolute stance once again witness I'm the president of Azerbaijan, my brother, as I mentioned Ilham Aliyev, Turkey one nation, two states approach, will continue to strengthen its cooperation with Azerbaijani brothers. While we invite the Armenian people to defend their future against their rulership and those who use them like a puppet, we call on the whole world to stand by Azerbaijan in their struggle against occupation and oppression. Brussels has been ordered to act against Turkey's illegal action in the eastern Mediterranean as tensions with Greece remain high. Amid the backdrop of escalation, Cyprus President, Nikos Anastasiades has urged the EU to act now to prevent further issues in the region. He spoke to European Council President, Charles Michel over the current state of relations while insisting international law must be honoured. He added, I informed the European President of the developments regarding the illegal actions of Ankara in Cyprus. The EU must make a decisive contribution to consolidating stability in the region while remaining committed to respecting international law and the law of the sea. I repeated to Mr. Michel that as Cyprus, we emphasise the need to utilise all the means at our disposal, avoiding approaches of two meters and two stations. As long as there are illegal actions against member states, the EU's response must be immediate. Tensions erupted after the Turkish vessel, the Oric race entered into waters around the Greek island of Castellorizo. The ship was accompanied by two other vessels into the waters, in what the Greek government claimed was a serious violation. The Greek Navy then proceeded to conduct military drills after the vessel entered the waters on August 10. Although the ship has returned to Turkey, Ankara has insisted it has not given up on its territorial demands. The EU has threatened to impose sanctions on Turkey although no other action has been taken by Brussels.